right. Hickok 45 with a Colt Python. Beautiful piece that it is. It's close up time in Tennessee. Look at that beautiful gun. Yes, how could we not do a close up video of the Colt Python 357 Magnum? Beautiful snake that it is. What a snake. Lovely rib barrel. Beautiful cylinder and frame. And the rampant Colt emblem on every Colt firearm. Yeah. Okay. Let's take some close looks at this thing and let's just shoot a couple of times. Put some rounds in that cylinder. By the way, that is a cylinder for you new shooters. And what I'm putting the round in is a chamber. It has six chambers in the cylinder. Okay. Now this is one of those old-fashioned revolvers, isn't it? Your magazine is always in the gun. <laughs> Otherwise known as a cylinder. Okay, let's take a couple shots here. Some of these evil cans out here that are just dying to be shot. Yeah. There's one with something in it, I think. I was correct. And another one. All right, give me a bullseye target in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can hit him again. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Sorry, Coke can. Click. Oh, yes. Sweet. And you have noticed, I'm sure, in the revolver videos that you've seen, you can see the edges of the cases in some revolvers like that. The Colt Python did not have, uh, does not have recessed cylinders, chambers, so uh, like the newer Smiths. And one of the differences that we pointed out. You know, one thing I did not point out too, you know, there's a lot of talk these days about how uh, Smith & Wesson is putting a key lock on the guns and uh, they've gone to a frame mounted firing pin as opposed to uh, where the firing pin used to be, which was on the hammer. And I'm talking Smith & Wesson's. Well, you know, the Colt, the Python, at least it always had a frame-mounted uh, firing pin. You can see it in there. The firing pin was never on the hammer of the, of the Python. And this is considered to be one of the best revolvers ever made. So, you know, that uh, there's a couple of different ways to look at the old frame-mounted or the hammer-mounted uh, firing pin. So, I, as a traditionalist with the Smith, I prefer it on the hammer. But, uh, but still, doesn't mean it's a piece of junk because the firing pin's on the frame because one of the greatest revolvers ever made in a lot of people's opinion is made that way so let's uh, put some more torpedoes in the tubes here take a couple of shots and I know I'm not really holding so you can get a good look here and see pretty gun it's a little smoked up after you fire them of course but they clean up rat nice Alright, what do we have left? Uh, we have a couple cans to shoot. There's one that has something in it, I think. Ooh, was I correct or what? <laughs> uh, isn't that funny? Have to hit him right on the bottom edge to get him to fly. Oh, caught me. Flinched on that one. Alright. What a beauty, what a beauty. Let's load him up at least one more round here. Give you a look at both sides here. Yeah. Pretty gun, pretty gun. Again, I think as I pointed out uh, in another video, it says, uh, let's see, Colt Pistol Manufacturing. Let's see. Anyway, this is uh, the uh, 357 Magnum was a uh, actually a trademark for the Smith and Wesson company and Colt could not call this a 357 Magnum so they couldn't put that on the barrel they put the CTG there for cartridge 357 Magnum cartridge you know, they put on there but uh, that was supposedly trademarked by Smith okay <coughs> excuse me let's load him up and fire him off again.
All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, it ran out pretty quickly, didn't it? We gotta do that again. Didn't take long enough. <laughs> you can empty one of these babies in a hurry with six rounds. Let's put some more in here. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We had, uh, again, a little light hammer strike there, but that's okay. Okay, double action. Got to be aware that can happen. If I was going to carry the gun for uh, this one for self-defense, I would tighten up the, the hammer spring. But for plinking around, target shooting, really doesn't matter. And particularly if you cock it first, bam, then it's going to fire every time. Nice gun, Colt Python, what else can you say? Life is good.